Hello friends, welcome back to our channel IT India. In this video, we are going to discuss how to launch an EC2 instance in a specific availability zone in AWS. So with this, let us go to our AWS console. So first of all, here you have to search for EC2 service and you will get option like this EC2. You can click on it. And after doing so, here will be an option of launch instance. But before that, you can have a look here instance running you will be getting all the instances that are running in your account in a specific availability zone or we can say in rian here we have selected mumbai rian so for mumbai rian all instances will be here and if they are running only those instances will be here and here will be all instances irrespective of they are running or not so we are going to launch instance here and basically this is new console and we are going to use new console to launch EC2 instance and here you have to mention the name of your server so here you can mention any name like test server or anything you can mention but this is important thing second step we can say here we have to select the AMI AMI is basically like the OS that you are going to use it could be Amazon Linux, Mac OS, Ubuntu Windows, Red Hat, anything it could be. It will decide the flavor of the OS that you are going to use. And here I am going to use Amazon Linux itself because we have various advantages in it. However, you can uh, select and you can browse for many AMIs from here. There are so many AMIs from uh, like AWS Marketplace, Community AMIs. There are so many and there are just 47 quick start AMI as of now. But there are so many AMIs from AWS Marketplace. But you have to take the subscription for using these AMIs. So we are going to use only Quick Start AMI. And this is the latest one from Amazon Linux itself. As the name also indicates, it is Amazon Linux 2023. And here we have to select the instance type. Basically, it depends on your load. How much will be the load and what is your requirement? You have to, because there will be different provision and at the same time, there will be different cost and different charges for different instance type. You can have a look and you can understand everything from here. Like here we are getting just one vCPU and here we are getting up to 32 vCPU and memory is also very high. But at the same time, the charge per hour will also be very high. So this is the difference. And here we are just selecting t2.micro. This is free tier eligible. After that, this is also very important because Without key pair, we have to do various technical things to login. However, this is not the scenario. We will not be able to login without key pair. But to make it simple, we can uh, create new key pair and you can type any name. Uh, I'm just typing test key pair. Here you have to use PAM. If you are using any Linux machine or Mac OS, if you will connect to this instance from Linux or Mac OS, then you have to select PAM file. And if you are trying to connect from Windows using PuTTY, then you have to select .ppk. So I will be using ppk because I'm using Windows at the moment. And at the same time, if you have generated ppk, then you can also convert it into PAM and the vice versa also. So there is no such restrictions and I'm going to create key pair. So this key pair has been created and downloaded. Okay, and now we were focusing on a specific availability zone. So we have to edit that here. At the moment, subnet, no preference is there, but we want it in a specific availability zone. That is AP South 1A. So we have to select it here. Otherwise, it could have been uh, created in any of these availability zone. So this was the only clue or this was the only important thing that we were focusing in this video. And after that, we can just launch this instance. And we can see that instance has been launched, but still it's in pending state. So it will take some time. And after that, it will be up and running fine so let us refresh this page and you can see that availability zone here is ap south 1a only and you can see that instance is running now so friends this was all in this video 
and I will keep making such videos which are related to different services in AWS. However, most of the videos will be specific to Amazon EC2 or I can say EC2 Linux as well. But there is no issues in other services also. I will make all the videos as per your requirement and as per your feedback. Thank you.